Okay, so what I have here is a Western Digital 40 gig hard drive that was dropped. And what I'm trying to show you is, is that even though these heads are moving freely, they're not touching anything, you're not going to hear a scraping noise if the disc was to spin, they're spinning freely. There's no damage on the platter that you can see here. But if you look real close at the head here, you can see that it's bent. And what happened was, is as the drive came down on impact, it slammed into the side here, which caused it to slam all the way over, which it's not supposed to do. It's not supposed to come all the way over here. It's supposed to stay up here. And it caused it to bend. So now it, this part right here that holds the head on, let me back out some so that you can see a little bit better, right here, this piece is actually broken away. So the head is only hanging on by one side. And that is indicative of a drop drive. The, um, there's a major problem that this will fly back and forth if I was to run this drive. And eventually, due to the speed and the force that it's going at, it will break loose enough to start scoring the platter very badly. So my recommendation when you drop the drive is to not continue to run the drive, not to plug it in. What you want to do is you want to get it to a recovery specialist of some sort to at least open it up and take a look and make sure that everything is intact inside before you start running the drive. Because the other problem you can run into is sometimes here this middle spindle will snap. So then the drive, this spins, well this is perfectly calibrated. So it spins and you're going to get a wobble. And uh, so say the heads were okay, but if I have a wobble, then what you're going to end up with is uh, scratches because it's got to be perfectly aligned and perfectly balanced. Um, on some drives, there is a uh, plastic piece here, uh, you'll hear it called the keeper, that kind of thing. If a drive has a keeper, when the drive is dropped and the heads are in the keeper, a lot of times they'll get stuck in there. But there's a lot of torque and force that happens here, so they'll come back out and uh, there's really, you're going to get scoring when that happens. So when, when you drop it and the heads get all mangled in, uh, in the keeper, then they come back out and they just drag across, back and forth across all the platters, just um, annihilating the data. And that would cause a situation where the drive would be unrecoverable and your data would not, um, you would not be able to get your data back. Uh, this is a common problem and it happens um, especially with those smaller portable, like the Western Digital My Passport portable drives, um, even though they are more durable than, say, like this desktop drive here, uh, they're still a hard drive and they still have working parts, and if it's plugged in when you drop it, uh, it's a likelihood that, um, that the data uh, will, you're going to lose a, a large majority of the data if you're able to recover anything, and if it wasn't running, again, do not plug that drive in.